Some guy just asked me if I'm filming a sting. I wish I was that cool. I'm actually not. Today I am giving you a sneak peek of the first episode of Side Gig Central. Are you excited? You should be. This episode is all about rideshare. I've got four interviews lined up, but today I'm going to give you a sneak peek of only one interview. And it's with uh, one of my dear friends. Her name is Abiola Booker. And, uh, she worked with me at Lyft for quite some time, but she also has some phenomenal insights into what it's like to actually be a rideshare driver. Just so you know, I'm testing a couple of different locations to start doing some video shooting and it's really difficult to find a, uh, a great place to film that has great lighting. There's gonna be a lot of outtakes in this video, so stay tuned at the end to see all these ridiculous outtakes that happened when I tried to film this 10 second intro. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy one of the many interviews that you'll find in the first episode of Side Gig Central podcast. Please enjoy my interview with Abiola Booker. So number one question that you get asked. A lot of people, I guess they're surprised, especially because I started driving pretty early. A lot of people were surprised, you know, I was comfortable as a woman. Mm. And I would just have to let them know, like, it's, it's safe. Everyone's tracked the technology, mm -hmm. um, but I really didn't drive late nights on the weekends. Not saying that women who do are more at risk. I really don't feel like there's any risk. You can mm -hmm. get hurt walking down the street in the supermarket. Right. But I took precautions to make myself feel safe. Um, I had an app on my phone where my husband was able to keep, you know, where I was. Yeah. You know, I always, I always had, I always had my location shared with him and a close friend of mine. Mm. But that was the number one question I got asked. Aren't you afraid? I'm right, like, right. You're a woman asking that. Like, <laughs> wouldn't you be afraid to get in a car with me? Yeah. Like, exactly. it goes the same way. Like, aren't you afraid to get in a stranger's car? Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to drive a stranger around. Yeah. It's your car. Like, I've kicked people out before. I've had to. Tell me, okay, so tell me about a situation where that, where you were like, all right, this is too much. Well, not to get political or anything, yeah. but when Trump was first elected, mm -hmm. I just felt like people were like gloating. And I wasn't any type, I mean, I was a little annoyed, mm -hmm. but I picked up a gentleman and you could, you could just red hat, red shirt, <laughs> and he was on the phone and he, he, he kind of provoked me. I think he got off the phone. He asked me, you know, what do you think? You know, what do you think of the election? And I, I wasn't trying to get into it. Mm -hmm. And then he accused me of being like, you know, you, you want to have an opinion, but yet you don't want to talk about it. But that was it. So I've had to kick people out. I've had people approach my car and I'm like, like I speed off because they're stumbling. I'm like, you're not going to throw up in my car. Mm -hmm. Or the few times that I did drive overnight. Mm -hmm. But I've never had an issue that made me feel like I couldn't go back out again. So I try to set the tone so that they, I can make them as comfortable as possible. But I'm not going to break my back, like, yes. within reason. Right, within you know, reason. I'm not going to have the heat blasting so, in yeah. August, you know? <laughs> so. so if they ask you uh, to change the channel from Beyonce to Kenny Loggins, Absolutely. Be all right. I don't care. Like, I like all music. It doesn't matter. But I would, so I think at one point it became a, a, a way for people to choose their music. They got mm -hmm. in a car and they could control Pandora. Yeah. And the yeah. first time it happened, I'm like, excuse me? Oh, like, I didn't say it, but I thought that, like, you need to ask first. But I I didn't say anything, of course, in my mind, I did. So what'd you think? Does it change your perspective on rideshare a little bit? I hope you gained some uh, some fun insights about rideshare. I, I always learn something new whenever I talk to Abiola. That's why I love her so much. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wouldn't mind, if you enjoy the Side Gig Central kind of theme, then go ahead and subscribe. That would be amazing. I am still working very diligently on getting the website up and running, so I'll have another place to send you uh, for, for some more content. Um, until then, I will see you next time. Hopefully I'll get into a groove of doing weekly videos. Fingers crossed that I can stick to that cadence because yes, this whole Side Gig Central is my side gig, so I'm still doing the nine to five, I'm doing this trying to make sure I have time for everything. So time management, I think we should talk about that. <laughs> time management skills and what it takes to actually have a side gig. So I want to actually wrap this up because this video was insanely difficult to film. There were so many distractions. So today I, oh my gosh, there is so much background noise. This is really, this is a challenge. Gotta wait for all these cars to pass.
Hurry up, Elena. Today I'm giving you a sneak peek. It's a fly. Comes another car. Awesome. And another one. This is literally the worst spot ever to film. I ever. This is really bad. <laughs> 